Hello everyone, my name is Arvind Panda. I am a legal intern in Lexus & Company for the month of June. I am a 4th year student from UPS Dehradun. And today in this video, I am going to talk about organ transplant laws in India. So, transpla uh, transplantation of human organ is a huge success in the field of medical science and technology. In medical terms, transplant is referred to as a process in which a portion, part of the body or a complete organ is removed from its original site of an individual and transferred to a separate site in different individual. However, the number of patients desperately needing a transplant outnumbers the number of donors available, making it necessary for the legislation to be in place to avoid illegal activities involving the commercialization of organ transplantation. So now let us talk about uh, let us talk about uh, the history uh, the history of uh, human organ transplant. Organ transplant in India has a shorter history compared to most of the developed countries in the world. The kidney transplant was first performed in India in the 1970s. Transplantation activities picked up in 80s and early 90s, but it was mainly restricted to leave donor kidney plant, uh, transplant in selected urban areas. Slowly, with new clinics coming up in an increase in availability of trained staff, kidney transplantation activities <coughs> increased. However, this led to the famous kidney trade in India in 80s, which caught a wide uh, media coverage. Foreign transplant started to fork to India transpl uh, transplantation for donor. Now, uh, let us talk about the advisory committee. So, co uh, constituted under the chairmanship of administrative expert who is not below the rank of secretary to the state government for a period of two years to aid. Second is along with him her two medical experts possessing a medical uh, postgraduate degree with not less than five years of work experience. And the third is committee purpose is to aid and advise the appropriate authority. This is the uh, advisory committee which, which is required for a uh, proper uh, uh, organ transplant. So now let us talk about uh, let us talk about the types of donor. The first is living donor. A living donor is a person who is above the age of 18 years and voluntarily authorized for the removal of his her organ tissue during his lifetime. For example, uh, the living donor allows one kidney as the donor's body is capable of functioning adequately with one kidney. Uh, a portion of pancreas as half of the pancreas can adequately perform the pancreatic function. Also, a part of his her liver uh, as the other segment of the liver can regenerate after some time and both the donor and recipient. So, uh, a person uh, while living can donate his kidney, one, one of the kidney, a portion of pancreas and a part of his or her uh, liver which can be regenerate with time. Now, let us talk about living uh, near related, don uh, related donors. Under the category, only uh, immediate blood relations are expect, uh, accepted as donors. For example, parents, children and siblings. Now, let us talk about living non-near uh, doctors, uh, donors. So, in such a case, the donor is not related to the recipient in any way and is willing to donate out of affection and attachment toward his, uh, him or her voluntarily. Now another is swap donor. This is a suitable case for where the near relative uh, donor is incompatible with the recipient. Such a provision involves swapping of the donor when the donor of the first pair uh, is a match with the second recipient. And donor of the second pair is a match with the first recipient. However, it is only permissible in the case of near relative being donor. Now. Uh, let us uh, talk about the punishment uh, while if someone trade the human organ. So as per section 18 of the act, any person who is responsible for the removal of a human organ tissue uh, with the authority of doing so can be punished with the imprisonment which can extend to 10 years with uh, and with fine which can extend to rupees 20 lakhs. In case that person is medical professional, his name will be reported by the uh, AA to the uh, State Medical Council to appropriate action including removal of his name from the register of council for three years or for the first offence and if she commits the offence subsequently then remove it permanently. 
सेकेंड एज पर सेक्शन नाइनटीन ऑफ द एक्ट इफ एनी पर्सन इन्वॉल्व हेम हर सेल्फ इन द कमर्शियल डीलिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन ऑर्गन देन सच पर्सन कैन बी पनिश्ड विथ इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर अ टर्म नॉट लेस दैन फाइव ईयर्स विच कैन बी ऑल्सो एक्सटेंडेड अप टू टेन ईयर्स एंड अ फाइन विच कैन फ्रॉम विच कैन रेंज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी लैक्स टू वन करोर and also section 20 of the uh, act also talk about if any person violates any other provision of the act he she can be punished with imprisonment for a term which can be extended to a five year with fine uh, which may extend up to 20 lakhs so uh, donating a organ is very easy and very helpful for someone who needs it but also the middleman and the people who are uh, uh, who are delivering this to Uh, make profit must be banned and uh, there must be strict action against it so that's all for today's video hope you all like it uh, thank you so much have a nice day